smaller than zero um, if x is bigger than e. Okay. So what does that tell you? That um, so this is going to be uh, decreasing if n is bigger than uh, bigger than two. As, as long as n is bigger than bigger than e, then you know this thing is going to be the derivative is, is small. Uh, the derivative is negative. Okay, and you see that at the beginning it's not decreasing, right? Because a sub one is one, a sub two is the square root of two, right? That's one around one point four four one. Right? Okay, so it actually increases at the beginning, but then after after a while, then it's, it's after a while it's a decreasing. Sequence. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you know, this thing, you have these things called, you know, uh, uh, non-increasing non sequences, non-decreasing sequences. It's, it's not that exciting, I guess. Um, but there is a really uh, useful fact. Here it is. Um, here. Uh, if a sub n is monotonic, then um, A sub n is convergent A sub n is convergent uh, implies A sub n is bounded Okay, that's not exciting. That's not exciting. But the exciting part is the is this way. If a sub n is bounded, a sub n is bounded, then it's going to be convergent. Okay, so. Um, the interesting part is is this backwards part, right? Because we we already saw that if you're convergent, then you're bounded, right? If you're convergent, then you're bounded. That that happens, you know, for everybody, right? But the interesting part is that if you're monotonic, if you're bounded, then you're actually convergent. Okay. Bounded implies convergent. Okay. Bounded implies convergent. So the interesting part. Interesting part. is that bounded forces you to be convergent. <coughs> okay. Okay. So for example, here's the sequence n n to the 1 over n. Okay. We know that this guy is bounded, right? Because it's you know the numbers are decreasing. And it's they're all bigger than zero, right? All these numbers are bigger than zero, right? Um, and so this this theorem, which is called the monotonic uh, monotonic convergence theorem, no, monotonic sequence theorem. Okay. So the monotonic sequence theorem is going to say that this thing, this thing is convergent. So uh, monotonic sequence theorem says that this converges.
So, um, uh, so, you know, so this is this is this is going to be really important later on. Um, whenever you have a monotonic sequence, as long as it's bounded, then it's going to be convergent. Okay, so um, yeah, so I was gonna I was gonna talk about uh, why this happens. Okay. Um, so <coughs> why does this happen? Why this happens? Um, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if it's worth worth getting into though, because um, so let me let me just give you an idea. I'll give you some sense of. I'll, I'll try to give you some idea of why it happens. Um, this actually is a depends on a really really deep property of, of numbers. Okay, there's something called the the least upper bound property. Least upper bound property okay. of of real numbers. So um. Let me, let me try to give you some sense of that. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give the full explanation. Okay, sorry for those of you who might, who might want to see it, um, but uh, it's a little bit technical. Um, so, uh, let me, let me first ask this. Okay, do, you, is everybody familiar with the rational numbers? Rational numbers? Does anyone know what the rational numbers are? Um, so rational numbers, things that look like. Um, Things that look like uh, like one over two or two over three or a negative seven over over eleven, you know, rational numbers. I, I, uh, when you have p over q and p and q are integers and q is not zero, right? The uh, rational numbers. Okay. Everyone, everyone know what these are? I, you, you, should, you, you must have encountered them at some point. Okay. Um, okay. So. Okay. So suppose that suppose that you're in the world of the rational numbers. Okay. Your your entire world is only rational numbers. Okay. You you don't you don't have irrational you don't have any irrational numbers. All your numbers are, are rational, okay? And you say, um, let's look at the set of irrational numbers uh, Let's look at the irrational numbers whose square is less than 2 The irrational numbers whose square is less than 2 So, right, can anyone give me an irrational number whose square is less than two? Wow. What? Wow. One over two, right? So one half, certainly that's in the set, right? Because you square it, it's less than two, right? Negative one half, also in the set. You square it, it's less than two, right? If I say two, no, two is not in the set. You square it, you get four, right? Okay, so. There are some numbers that are in the set, and then there are some numbers that are that are not in the set, right? So, and if you play around a little bit, you find that um, there's some sort of boundary, right? There's some sort of boundary. Uh, if this is one, this is two, negative one, negative two. There's some sort of boundary around here, right? right? You 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 know, secretly you know what the boundary is, right? The boundary is the square root of two. Right, but in your world, there's no irrational numbers, so so you don't know, you don't see this number. Okay, there's no square root of two in your world because it's an irrational number. Okay, okay, okay. So um, okay, so there's some set here. There's some set here of of numbers, the guy S, and their squares are all less than two. Right, the squares are all less than two, and you notice that I can find a number that's that's bigger than everybody else, right? If I take four, that's bigger than everybody in S, 
right? Um, four is an upper bound of S, right? Four is an upper bound, right? Four is bigger than everybody in S, right? Three is also, right? Two is also, right? 1.5, right? 3 over 2 is also, right? 140, uh, 142 over 100, that's also an upper bound, right? All these things are upper bounds of the set. Okay. Okay. Right? Is there a smallest upper bound for the set? Is there a smallest upper bound for the set? Is there a smallest upper bound? Yeah. Root two, but you don't know root two, right? In your world, there is no root two. Okay, you're in the you are an ancient Greek person. Okay, and the ancient ancient Greeks did not have rational numbers. It, it, they did not have irrational numbers. All their numbers were irrational. Okay, so they're like, okay, uh, huh? That's funny. There is no upper bound. There is no smallest upper bound. There is no smallest upper bound. The answer, so the answer is not, not for us, not for us, the ancient Greeks. Okay. So, uh, in the world, in the ancient Greek world. Okay. In the ancient Greek world, you're in this number system, and strangely. Um, you have this set, and there's an upper bound for it. You can find all these upper bounds, but there's no smallest upper bound. Okay. Now, the funny thing in the in the real numbers, in the real numbers, the the real numbers have this unusual property. Whenever a set Whenever a set has an upper bound, there is a number that is uh, a least upper bound. Okay. Every set with an upper bound has a least upper bound. There's a, there's, there's a number that's, that's going to be the least upper bound. Okay, and that's something that's different from between the real numbers and, and the rational numbers. That's something very special about the real numbers. Okay. Okay, and um, that actually is the key to uh, that actually is the key to uh, to the monotone monotonic sequence theorem. So the idea here, uh, idea of the monotonic sequence theorem, is this: right? If you have an increasing sequence, if you have an increasing sequence, and it has an upper bound, right? Uh, if a sub n is increasing and has an upper bound, then um, by the least upper bound property, there is a least upper bound. There's a least upper bound, right? So there will be actually some least upper bound. Okay. That uh, the sequence 
converges to that number. The sequence actually converges to that number. So just to give you some sense of, of why this happens, it actually happens because of this special property of the real numbers. Okay. Okay. 